This episode of Six Five Guys is brought to you by Defiance Machine, defying tradition with innovation. Our Bros Rifles, precision on another level. JC Steel Targets, the industry leader in quality AR500 steel targets. Welcome to Six Five Guys, I'm Steve Lawrence. And I'm Ed Mobley. Today we're with Jim O'Shaughnessy, owner of Prime Ammunition. Jim, thanks for uh, taking time to uh, be with us today and uh, chat with our audience. You're welcome, I'm glad you guys are here. So Jim, a lot of folks are familiar with Prime and uh, your product. Tell us a little bit about kind of your background and how the company got started. Mm -hmm. I have a varied background. I've been in a lot of different businesses. I've been in the commercial insurance business, Lloyd's and London kind of stuff. I've been in uh, the internet business, uh, the network security business, and then recently, the last few years, in the ammunition business. Well, I mean, that sounds reasonable. I mean, that's where we all end up. <laughs> <laughs> normal, normal. <laughs> I, I kind of sense we're, we're heading in that, in that direction, too. And, you know, we're, we're having a little bit of fun here, but... I'm an outsider. I'm an outsider to this business in, gotcha. in the business per se. Well, but, but, but it's interesting because a lot of folks um, come to this business mm -hmm. through, through some other path. They do. I've noticed that, yeah. And, and, and usually there's like a, a moment, a flash of inspiration mm -hmm. that, you know, leads them into this industry. So, so if you can just, you know, describe sure. that. Yeah, mine was, uh, I mean, pretty frankly, my wife and I had planned to have a bigger family than we have. And we had one child. And she came out perfect and, and, and easy to deal with and go on the airplane and go to dinner and, and not make noise and all of that. And it was really nice. And, and so my wife and I really decided like, you know, maybe one is the right number for us. Yep. And then uh, it was, and, and we're blessed that way. But then, uh, you know, I had a lot of extra time on my hands. And so <laughs> um, my, my wife, uh, Sarah, really, uh, that we work together with in this business, um, encouraged me to go and do something I was passionate about that I really could um, enjoy and, and, and really dig into. And then uh, that's how the, the, the impetus of it, how I got started in, in choosing ammunition. Well, that's terrific. I mean, it reminds me of, uh, you know, my wife, Paige. I mean, she's always been super encouraging. Mm -hmm. So you, you had a terrific spouse. She encouraged you. So here, here you're, you're in the business. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times you, you got to get over that that gumption trap right mm -hmm. there's like wow i'm maybe quitting my day job or or changing trajectory right. here so you know how did that how did that feel to, to make that decision well, well I, I really thought that uh, i looked at this and i didn't see anyone really particularly in the ammunition space trying to develop a lifestyle brand mm -hmm. this is a cliche a lot of people talk about lifestyle brand and that sort of stuff um and i'm no brand expert or marketing whiz or anything like that but i, I saw an opportunity yeah and, and then we saw a specific opportunity with our supplier who uh, makes great ammunition. Um, we were able to work with them and formulate the things that we, we wanted and then uh, change its, 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 um, it, its delivery in the United States, both through direct to uh, consumer and then also uh, you know, a, a, an intense focus on uh, customer service. And, and uh, we're here in our warehouse today where we've chosen to pick, pack and ship ourselves because that last touch that last component of we care is as it goes out the door so if it doesn't have the right dunnage or packaging material in it if it, if it's if it looks like you didn't care when they open it they can tell that our yeah. customers can tell that and we didn't want that well one thing i noted when we first arrived to mm -hmm. film this episode was you were on the phone with a brand new customer mm -hmm. getting to know them tell us a little bit more about that and, and what you do there so part of it's kind of a hokey thing where people almost like he made it up or whatever but i grew up on a dairy farm yeah. that's one thing i didn't mention initially and and uh, I, I didn't move off that farm until we, i was 16. and so i remember specifically our our vendors would call sometimes to say thank you and uh, my dad would always really think that that was a great thing and he, and he would say to my mother keep buying from him or her <laughs> if it was a, a somebody else who had sold us uh, you know whatever we needed on our farm and that's always stuck in my head. So I figured, you know, if I ever have a business to consumer um, opportunity where we have a business like that, why not try that? So we call every customer when they make their first purchase. 
Um, we say thank you. And, um, you know, they're spending some of their hard-earned money to, uh, to, to try our product and to see what happens, and we want them to know we appreciate it. Well, I mean, you know, not only does that create a sense of endearment, but also it's, it's a smart business move because you're getting, I would imagine, some really unfiltered input. Well, it has turned out to be, uh, as a side effect, uh, uh, you know, the word of mouth that comes from that is the way our business has grown so far. Mm -hmm. So we, we've come from this level to this level uh, um, based on word of mouth and how we treat our customers. And so, you know, we get into conversations with them. We ask them questions, to your point that you just asked, and um, what are you shooting this through? Uh, how did you hear about us? And we try to pay attention to that so that we can focus our efforts and our, and our limited resources that we have in, in directions that seem to be working. Now, for the folks that are familiar with precision rifle, which mm -hmm. is a sport that we all love, you see a lot of boxes of prime. Mm -hmm. um, very accurate for the guys that don't have time to reload or may not have undertaken the, the hobby <laughs> of reloading. <laughs> um, go with prime. Now, tell us a little about kind of the marketing and the position, just all the way from the naming of the company to the mm -hmm. colors and, and the packaging. Um, what are your thoughts, Sarah? Well, we, we wanted to be different. Okay. We wanted to stand out. If you, if you see this box on a, a wall somewhere or at a match or something, mm -hmm. it looks a lot different than a lot of other packaging. And, and uh, it, it's simple. Uh, it, it has, you know, obviously a, a patriotic aspect to it with just the colors. Mm -hmm. And uh, we try to put as much Im Im important information that, that, that we as shooters really need to put yeah. into our, our ballistic solvers. And so uh, the name was something that was... Uh, Initially, as we came up with it, a little bit, um, we wanted to make sure we could clear that name, the intellectual property of it. And we all know that there are other uh, entities that use names similar to that. And as it turns out, they're not going to ever be in this business uh, of, of firearms and ammunition. So it was, it was um, not easy, but it was, uh, uh, we were able to get it cleared and, and um, own the intellectual property rights. So it was a really important thing if you're going to put a lifestyle brand together that you, you, you that it's uh, you, you you have access to that yeah. so that that was uh that was a very important process that took some time and effort and resources and we're glad we did great and and so you mentioned direct to consumer mm -hmm. and that is your exclusive uh venue or or no we we, we we have some uh dealers around the country we try to go to the the mom and pops of the mm -hmm. of the gun world and People who are in their communities that are going to support uh, groups that we're very passionate about. And, and something that Prime has really worked hard to, uh, to put our money where our mouth is, is to support uh, lady shooters, youth shooters, and people who are willing to be inviting and to get as many people out into, into the uh, ranges and shooting and having a positive, safe experience with firearms as, as possible. Mm -hmm. And so when, when dealers call and, and ask us about you know, working together, I'm more concerned about what are they doing in their communities for the things I just mentioned yeah. than, oh, we can move tons of ammo and, and all that sort of stuff, which is important. We need to have a good business, mm -hmm. but we really do want them to be active in their communities of, of, of getting people out and enjoying firearms. I like, I like the focus on the, the mom and, and pop gun shops because it's, it's clear, you know, you're, it's, it's competitively priced mm -hmm. because you're taking a lot of, it's an efficient operation. Correct. But I think also you see a lot of mom and pop gun shops. It's, it's not necessarily an easy business. So it seems like you can provide them with a product that they could sell at a very competitive price, maybe enhancing their business. Well, I hope so. And we, we do have a small amount of dealers around the, the country. Uh, some of them move some pretty good volume. And, and you know, certainly it's not their, mm -hmm. their core business, but it, it, it augments what they're doing and um, it gets the word out. And especially in areas where... Um, you get these groups of people that may, may have uh, heard of it or whatever, and they would like to go and, and just buy a box of it to try it. Yep. And that's really benefits us. Now, certainly I'm sure in getting to know the customers, you're hearing a lot of their feedback. What are you hearing from them in terms of the things that they like or the things that they'd like to see differently, perhaps new cartridges that are off? There, there are always requests for, the, you know, there's a myriad of cartridges, hundreds and hundreds of them. So you'll, you'll always have that happen. And, and I don't think we'll ever have enormous amounts of SKUs. But we hear, um, oh, we just did a survey. We hear uh, six Creedmoor. We hear 300 Win Mag that they would like to see. They, we hear uh, 224 Valkyrie has come up, uh, 6.5 Grendel. A lot of the 
uh, six millimeter uh, lower recoil. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the trend right now of, yep. of being able to stay in the scope and, and and see what happened to that bullet and then make a correction or know that you made a good impact. Yeah. So we talk about getting customer feedback. What is the most interesting piece of feedback you've ever gotten that that really sticks in your mind? Well, I think a lot of it is the the hunting ones. We don't uh, market our ammunition uh, as hunting. Um, rounds per se, but they, they have tremendous terminal ballistic effect. Um, we've had m hundreds of people send in stories and pictures, but the ones I like the most are, you know, the father-daughter, the, the, the mother-son, uh, uh, father-son, uh, mother-daughter stories of my first deer, my, my, uh, my first elk, and, and things like that. They're, I remember getting my first experience like that with, with my dad and how, how important that was to me and how um, just some of the best memories I have of my dad who passed away when I was fairly young yeah. um, have stuck with me my whole life. So when I hear a story like that, those are, are the ones that stick with me. Oh, that's, uh, that's, that's good. I mean, it kind of goes with, you know, with, the, with the whole theme. I mean, well, you would think yeah. it was like, hey, yeah. I got this shot at a mile and I, I got two yeah. stacked together mm -hmm. and all this. It, it's not that. It's the emo emotional based ones where people had a life experience that they're going to remember and maybe tell stories like this someday themselves. And yeah. Now, you started the company about three years ago, is that right? Yes. And I would imagine have grown quite a bit to get to where you're at. Well, when you're at zero, yeah. and then you get to one, you've had 100% growth. <laughs> exactly. So we had a period of extreme growth <laughs> there for a while. It was awesome, so. What do you see as changes? I mean, where do you see yourself in, in, in the company a few years out, and, and perhaps, um, you know, trends that you're seeing, or mm -hmm. how, the, how the sport's evolving and things like that? Um, more competitors, more uh, varied competitors, um, more women shooters, more youth shooters uh, out there drawing that in. So that, that's a trend that's happening right now, yeah. not because of us, but just because of everybody being uh, welcoming. This is a very welcoming sport. Um, but for trends, um, just, uh, uh, you showed me something a second ago, which I, I won't mention, but it was a pretty neat thing and, and it's a, it's a real improvement. Mm -hmm. And so, so improvement, technology, okay. the, the, the barrels are getting better, the optics are getting better, the, the, the science of the ballistics is being applied in a more efficient manner. Mm -hmm. uh, people understand what's going on. They, they are getting impacts at farther and farther distances. They're making corrections faster because of lower recoil and proper training and on and on and on. There is real advancement in the um, capabilities of shooters based on equipment and training techniques. And, and just in the three years that I've seen this, I've been involved in this, I've seen real uh, improvement there. So I, I expect that to answer your question, I expect that to yeah. continue. Okay. And, and um, just to just not stop. I mean, I think the last 10 to 12 years has seen tremendous increases in, in capabilities and, and effect of, of a marksmanship and, and uh, I, I don't see it stopping. Now, now folks might say, well, that sounds really good, but how does the ammunition shoot? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'll just, I'll just put it out there that you, you can go to Sniper's Hide, you can see Frank Galley just shoot bug hole mm -hmm. groups uh, with the ammunition. Uh, so, so that I think is, is established. But I think for somebody that, that purchases, this, purchases this ammunition mm -hmm. and maybe at some point wants to get into reloading, mm -hmm. there's a bit of a bonus there. Maybe, maybe you, you can talk a bit about that. Yeah, uh, there's um, the brass is excellent, mm -hmm. and you, you get a fireform piece of brass at a very economical price. I mean, we're 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 bringing container loads in mm -hmm. and sending uh, cases out, and so um, we we we're trying to be as efficient as we can with our model and selling direct, and then keep the prices as reasonable as as we can. And so, to 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 wind up with a, a nice fireform piece of brass, like I said, and. Uh, to have it start off you know pretty economic and and uh, if you're kneeling if you get it really get into these things we're able to to maximize the uh the life of that cartridge our pockets are holding nicely um and we're seeing anywhere from five to ten eleven or more reloads in most if they're not trying to get it to go too hot yeah and, and that's good to know because there are a lot of lower priced brands of ammo where the brass really isn't that reloadable so you're, you're getting some really good reloadable yeah, brass as well brass yeah, exactly. That's very important. Now, with the direct-to-consumer model, where would they go? Tell us a little bit about the, 
the website? Where do they need to go to? How would they contact you? Sure. The best way really is to go to, um, and, and uh, most of the traffic comes now on a mobile device, a tablet or a mm -hmm. phone, uh, to just primeammunition.com or prime ammo is okay. works, primeammo.com, and um, set up an account. And uh, it's a very simple website. We've tried to make it um, aesthetically pleasing, but also not complex to the point where it's frustrating or anything like, like that. like, oh, it's not going to work on my smartphone. <laughs> I need to actually go to a PC. That's a huge yeah. con consideration now because uh, that is a, a, a trend that's occurred. Mm -hmm. It's not a trend. It's, it's happened. And people are using their phones for uh, e-commerce. And uh, that's just how it works. So we, we've, we've simplified it. And, uh, you know, it's like any other website you check out. And, uh, but then when you come back, if you made an account, log in, and everything's there, and it's simple to, to reorder. Prompt delivery? Yeah. If you order before uh, 3 p.m. on a weekday, it will ship the same day. And uh, we do have Saturday delivery. We have FedEx ground. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, if you order Friday and you're within one uh, day of uh, this area, uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, you'll get it the next day. And, and your, your selection is evolving, so we're not necessarily going to recite all the cartridges, but mm -hmm. if, if they go to your website, yep. they'll, they'll see exactly what, what you have. Absolutely. We have about 20 SKUs right now, about 20 okay. different products. Excellent. Now, we're going to engage in a very fun promotional activity uh, here. Yeah. <laughs> You've all seen Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory. Right. You've, you've, you've heard of the Golden Ticket. We, the 6'5 guys, we're going to sign a number of boxes. And if you find said signed and quickly to become a collectible, collector's right. item box, <laughs> OK? So look very carefully. What, what, what's going to happen when they find a, find a signed box? So I want them to write into support, support at primeammo.com, with a picture of it. Then we're going to verify the signature, make sure it's not a, a fraud or some sort of uh, Nobody can forge my signature. A forgery, yeah. Um, and, and then we're going to send out a, a, a nice swag pack. We have some great hoodies in right now. We have some uh, T-shirts back in. Uh, we have some beanies. You know, it's cold out. It's wintertime. They're real nice. Uh, we have some coins, some challenge coins that we have out. So we'll put some together nicely and uh, get it right out to them, ship it out. That's one reason that if you haven't tried Prime Ammo, now's the time to do it. Go ahead and get your orders in. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Well, well, thanks for working with us. I think yeah. that's going to be a really, really fun promotion. You bet. Thanks for coming out, guys. Thanks, Jim. Appreciate your time. Absolutely. Well, folks, hopefully you found this uh, interesting. <laughs> Definitely check out uh, Prime Ammunition. So until next time, remember, life's an adventure. Stay on target.